so it is what day is it it is wednesday i haven't vlogged in ages i think this might be my first vlog of the year which feels really really strange i've just been in a real funk really like don't really feel like i've had that much to say it's that time of the year where just nothing is really going on nothing is happening so yeah literally had nothing to report i said don't really have anything to report but i thought that i would just get back on the wagon and uh, i'm having a day at home today and lauren isn't here we're, we're having working from home wednesday which i really enjoy because as much as i'm quite like i love people and i love being around people all the time you know how you get an excitable puppy that loves everyone and wants to play like constantly but every so often you find them like sitting in your bedroom in the dark <laughs> that is me <laughs> uh so wednesdays are my day where this excitable puppy just sits at home in the dark i was about to say i don't really but i I'm known for doing that. I'll just be like sat on my phone in the dark somewhere. So I'm having a day at home today and I've got a lot of bits to sort. Like the flat is just a jumble sale, really. I knew it. I could see the postman's van. Like honestly, I haven't ordered anything. Dude, what are you doing to me? Hello? Okay, thank you. Do I need to sign for it? Honestly, I don't know. What did I order? I'm gonna have to go get it. I'm too intrigued to not go get it. But anyway, so it's looking a little bit crazy over here. I've got a lot of things to unbox, put away, sort through. I went to a Topshop event yesterday, so I've got a few new bits. Some that I'm wearing, but I'm gonna show you what I got because I was showing a little bit on stories and I thought I'd show you the things that I got um, from there. Cause a lot of you don't watch my stories as well. So I like to double up a little bit. I've got some bits from ASOS that are new that I just couldn't resist picking up. I work with them, but this is like, me just picking stuff up because i saw things that i liked mainly like loungewear and a coat i think really easy basic pieces those are the things that i always end up picking up for myself because basic this is going to be the longest intro in the world but i'm going to be doing some putting away unboxing a little bit of everything but first i'm gonna go downstairs and um see what this parcel is and then i'm gonna crack on with my cup of tea because i've made myself peppermint tea and i was just just thinking, oh, I'm just going to sit here and just enjoy it and uh, everything will be lovely. But no, no, I have to go downstairs, so. which doesn't sound like a big deal, but I just really hate it. I hate this building. <laughs> Basically, nothing works. The doors don't work. The gates don't work. What else doesn't work? So much. So many things don't work, honestly. Yeah, basically, can't, can't wait to leave this building at some point this year, which is why I'm going to be doing some decluttering today as well, because I know at some point this year I'm going to be moving and that cupboard there, I don't know if you've seen it in previous vlogs but it's basically just full of shit so i'm gonna sort that out i need to sort the wardrobe room because you guys <laughs> you guys it's seriously disgusting i stayed away from home the other week and uh it just yeah so i'm gonna sort this room out i've got some beauty bits to put away as well so yeah basically just got a lot of shit to put away today and i also want to go to the gym and yeah basically just need to get all this stuff done so that at the end of the day all i actually need to do is sit down make dinner and watch the walking dead because i realized i have two seasons to catch up on and that's been my life for the past week season nine it was wild wild let's put my slippers on go downstairs see what we got really difficult going through doors. <laughs> How I haven't spilt tea all down me is a miracle. All right, I've propped you up. It is time to get on with this cupboard. I hate this cupboard. It's literally been growing since I moved in and it's just getting a bit out of control now. So actually, so yeah, you can see a bit better now. Uh, it's just full of shit. So basically i know i'm going to be moving at some point this year and i don't want to have to take all of this stuff with me i highly doubt there will be a cupboard of this size wherever i move to so basically i just need to make this a nice tidy space and uh i don't know if you can see but it goes up really high so there's even stuff like up the top Ugh. i'm not gonna lie my 2020 motivation is very low at the moment like all i want to do is take baths and watch tv and not really do much else which is very unlike me i'm normally quite like a motivated person like i love getting up in the morning going to the gym doing all of that and i'm in a real funk at the moment and i hate that i actually need to start going to the gym first thing in the morning again because that was the one thing that always like really really helped it's harder to do in the winter though because i can't do my job in the dark so i need my daylight hours to film so that is the issue that i've been having you don't care 
blogger problems. Anyway, very unmotivated at the moment, but I'm hoping that if I just make a start on this, just start is my kind of like method for getting back into shit just start just start taking stuff out that you don't want and basically for anyone that's gonna like go crazy being like oh my god i can't believe what she's throwing away i don't throw things away uh, i give them to charity i also have a family friend at the moment who can't work so they do, they do car boot sales so um anything that can be taken to a car boot sale for them then i'm 100 percent sending it that way or to a charity shop yeah so i just need to make a start first things first the IOU board, it's got to stay. So I'm just going to move that out of the way, but that's going to stay. This is my <laughs> little library of crap. I just also have loads of loose change here. I really need a little jar for my change. But I have like a library of books that I, some of them I'm still yet to read. There's a couple that I have read and that I'm just keeping there, but um, I really need to go through this and kind of like style it out. There's some coffee table books up there, which I will probably keep. And then just a load of random other stuff like I keep a lot of my diffusers and things in here the Zara sort of caramel one is a big favorite of mine there's also a mini set of DJ decks in here which I feel like should probably live in my office cupboard even though it's nothing to do with work but it's a piece of tech so by the way those DJ decks mine yeah I know weird started off 2019 trying to learn to use them and then ended up being in a relationship with a DJ how weird is that Anyway, so I also have a set of knives up here, which is kind of weird. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's really strange. So this cupboard is just a very odd cupboard. And I'm just going to basically make it neater and put things where they should really be. So let's get started. much better yes i know it's still weird that i have my knives next to my fragrances but i just really hate having knives out on the side of my kitchen it kind of freaks me out i don't know why but yeah much happier with this it looks so much better now and then here i've got some candles books uh that i've read old phone cases for phones that i don't have anymore so i feel like those can be sold at car boot sale all the books it's great now i just need to put this baby which if you didn't see my what i got for christmas video will be so random to you but um yeah that can go back in there it's all neat and tidy now i really should sort this cupboard actually i'm just gonna have a project eat everything in this cupboard which i have no complaints about because there's so many great cereals and <laughs> amazing snacks in this cupboard i've actually already started project eat everything out the freezer which is going very very well so yeah basically just having one of those periods where i'm like in the next six months i'm gonna have everything like slowly cleared out i love just like a slow declutter so much better doing it this way than when i had to move last where i obviously moved a lot quicker and like didn't kind of know six months ahead that i would definitely be moving so basically we just had two massive areas of the house which were like for like charity bags and it was honestly it was insane it was like every saturday my mum would turn up like first thing in the morning and she would help me like clear out a room or an area of the house because we had like three weeks until um i was coming here it was mad so yeah that was crazy i'm not doing that again so it's just like a slow cupboard at a time really manageable just like something everyone should think about if they know that they're going to be moving at some point in the near future it will honestly make packing 10 times easier and then over here i have so much stuff that now needs to go into the cupboards in my office which will probably be my next area that i'm going to need to clear out and i'm really not looking forward to that it's just junk so much junk so much tech junk that i don't really care about but before i do that i actually need to tidy my office and wardrobe room so i'm going to do the wardrobe room next and get all of this somewhere it's all well and good one cup of being tidy but then it means you need to like find somewhere to put all your shit just been sorting things into categories which is something i really like to do for some reason when i'm like sorting shit out and i've come across so many old film photos i've actually found um these of me and alana from when she visited 
which are so cute. Alana, if you're watching, do you remember this? We need more. But yeah, so many old pictures, like, they're great. There's some really cute ones of me and Vic from In The Fro. And then, so that's our Marrakesh trip. We've got LA with Lucy and Lydia. I really love this photo. I actually am gonna put this aside and frame it. Maybe this one of the girls as well. They're so cute, so cute. Yeah, I kind of want like these three like collaged in some kind of way. They're just some of my favorites. Such cute pics. Oh, I just love them. I love them so much. Mm, they make me so happy. There's also me and my brother just looking absolutely delightful. Um, I'm sure he'll really appreciate me showing you. But yeah, I'd like to actually maybe do a collage of some of the Marrakesh pics. That's never before seen pic of me and in the fro. Yeah, maybe a collage of those and a collage of those could be really cute in like bigger frames maybe. That'd be so sweet. But I also found this and I'm gonna, none of us have any like makeup on or much Me Actually, I know, I think I was wearing makeup there, just not a lot. But um, I'm gonna save the other two girls that are in this photo from having their unmade up faces um, put on my vlog. But that is two years difference, I believe. Madness. Absolute madness. Like, what do you do with a picture of you on your own? Like, what, what do you do with that? Like, I use these for some blog stuff, but I actually now don't know what to do with this picture. What should I do with it? Let me know. I also really love these pictures because it's basically me and my nan and my granddad. This one also has my mom, obviously. But me, my nan and my granddad, like, a year apart. It just makes me laugh. Look at that face. That is the face of a very unimpressed human being. <laughs> Both of them actually. I'm playing PlayStation, that's why I have that look on my face. Yeah, it's cute. I like having like year on year Christmas photos to look back on apparently. to sort out i cleared out my makeup bag the other day which is why there's so much makeup on the side and then i also got sent a couple of ysl bits whilst i was in london the other day so yeah i need to sort those bits out i've got some bits over there that are rubbish and then my tidy dressing room now i am gonna sort this rail because i'm trying to do more what i wore in a week's and it's much easier if this is like fully stocked with like things that I actually wanna wear. And I need to take this off because I just keep wearing it all the time. And the last one I wore in a week, that is all you see. So yeah, I need to have a coat rejig and yeah, just freshen this up a little bit. Took my clothes out of my suitcase and put them in my bedroom, but some of them might need to come back in here, but I just like to sort through everything first. So I'm gonna sort through the clothes in my room and then just sort this out and I'm going to show you how I plan my outfits for the week. Okay, so I'm actually sitting on a suitcase but I'm going to show you how I plan my outfits for the week roughly. So normally I do the very everyday thing of standing in front of my wardrobe and going, hmm, what do I want to wear? But I also have another way that I plan outfits and it's through Instagram. So on an everyday basis when I'm like scrolling through my feed like this, you know how to scroll. There's actually this little button here and that is the save button. I don't know if like most of you will probably know this, but some of you might not. And um, basically what you can do is you can tap and save it and you can save it to a collection. And basically I have a folder called OOTD inspo. And that is where I save every single outfit that I like that I think is gonna be good for like my what I wore in a week. or so just things that I'm like, or oh, have like all of the bits for that outfit and I want to like remind myself to wear that combination I save them all to OOTD inspo I also have another inspo one I have so many folders probably like maybe 50 folders for different themes so like nails hair different accounts that I run like if I want some photography inspo for like something else what else do I have like tattoos piercings summer outfits because I kind of have a separate folder for like specific summer vibes or photography for the summer um 
fitness, food, fitness and food get used the least. I actually really like using TikTok for fitness stuff at the moment, side note, it's really great for that. But some of these I'm actually going to incorporate into my planning for this week and I might kind of show you a couple of outfits and recreate some of these Instagram outfits just because uh, I think that would be quite fun but I'm not going to show you too much because as much as that would be really really fun I don't want to take away from what I wore in a week. So yeah that is kind of how I plan out my outfits. I kind of look at this and pick out the things that I already have um, and pop them onto the rail and kind of like remind myself to use those items. So for example there's a lot of trench coats going on on this feed. There's a lot of uses of like trench coats, um, kind of sheer tights and biker boots, which I can definitely do. And it will get my Gucci tights some use. So I'm definitely gonna pull those things. I also have lots of Anine Bing saved. And there's this one look where she's wearing a cardigan that's kind of like a button up and then some leather trousers, which I can definitely do. And that will help me get use out of my new Topshop brown cardigan. It sent the Zara version back, got the Topshop version, much, much happier. Just feel like the material is just a lot nicer on my skin. It feels really nice and it comes in a beautiful cohort that I actually can wear out of the house and I have worn out of the house. There's also like a vesty like t-shirt type outfit with like some cargo type pants which I really like so I'm gonna pull that and I can do that really nicely with either my leather trousers or with uh, some green Topshop paper bag tie waist trousers that I've had for ages. Then we have the classic t-shirt leather look leggings or leather trousers and blazer which I will definitely be cracking out. And then I also have some really lovely super easy like t-shirt and denim style stuff saved. So I'll definitely be pulling some of that out because as you can see I'm really loving like a easy basic and blue denim style thing i can tell spring is coming as soon as the sky starts getting like blue blue is like blue and white is all i want to wear and it's actually probably my favorite color color combination i just love blue and white so much so yeah those are the things that i'm going to be pulling and if any other like inspo comes to me along the way i'll let you know welcome to the floor drobe that i have just created whilst i'm packing all of my shit so I'm gonna pop most of this stuff away and kind of just keep in mind the things that I wanna put on my rail and I'll keep those out and move those back into that room as I need. But I think based on what I've got my eye on from my saved items, I think most of the items that uh, I'm gonna be needing are already in the wardrobe. So basically I'm just gonna have a big tidy and then pull things out. there guys we are getting there next i'm just going to go through i forgot about these bits when i was explaining my process earlier but i have some new bits which might be good might not be so i need to go through some of the new little pieces i've ordered and see which of those i want to work into my wardrobe for this week and then those can go in the wardrobe room as well ready for me to like stack stuff on my rail and start kind of building outfits pretty sure everything that i got in top shop yesterday is going to be worn hopefully in the next week. I love everything so, so much. So I have video clips already, so I'll pop these over as I'm talking about them because I've already shown you guys and lots of you will have seen them in stories, but we have some coated black flared, what are they, Jamie flares? That's the style. I'll link everything in the info box, but they've got quite a big flare on the bottom and they look really, really amazing with a pair of heels. These are a waist 28 leg 32. So the leg is longer than I would normally go for. A 30 leg is still kind of pushing it for me with most jean styles. If they're cropped, then the length is fine because if not, then I'll need to go into petites and get a 28. But for most things like mom jeans, uh, a 32 I can still get away with. The jeans I'm wearing right now are a leg 32. So because they're skinny, just they roll up and bunch up quite nicely so it's not too bad but those are going to look amazing with a black body as you will see in the cutaway i also picked up these mom jeans these are premium mom jeans and lots of people are asking the difference between mom jeans that are regular and then premium mom jeans which are what is the difference in price because i'm assuming there is for premium these are 45 i'm not entirely sure i feel like that's a little bit more than regular um mom jeans but these are in the most gorgeous blue color very much 
kind of similar to the blue that I had in my favorite Zara pair, which are literally like falling apart. They have holes in them, the whole shebang. These are very, very similar to that pair actually, but I would say a bit firmer in their structure. And these, the premium mom jeans are a little bit smaller, I would say in the way they run to regular mom jeans, which I really like. It helps them look a little bit less cash like they definitely look a little bit smarter lots of people were like those don't look like mom jeans at all on my stories because they definitely are like a little bit um smaller but brand new jeans always are like compared to my usual mom jeans which i've had for such a long time like they're always quite tight when you first buy them and then they really really loosen up after you wash them so tip if you are shopping for mom jeans like i would always say to kind of size down if you're really really unsure and you don't want anything too baggy because mine always end up being very very roomy so i'm sure these will um loosen up but they are a more fitted structure i would say they're definitely more structured in general like they feel like denim whereas a lot of the top shop jeans don't really feel too denim like and they're very very soft these are still soft but they feel like a jean these kind of and these even more so i would compare to levi's not in the exact same quality because they're just they are very much like two separate jean worlds, but these are a little bit more in that direction, I would say, both in the fit, the tone, and the way the material feels, and the way it kind of fits on, and it kind of just like scoops you. So I do feel like the premium mum jeans, and even these are just such great quality. They're definitely not as thin as the usual Topshop jeans, which I really love. I do find like the usual Topshop jeans are just too thin, and I just don't think they do very much for my figure at all, so yeah that's my thoughts i also have these shoes which i am dying to wear oh my god i love them so much even the color like that off white creamy color i just think it's so beautiful it looks so good with all of these jeans i was in the changing room so decided to try them all on with it because basically these were just in the changing rooms when i was in personal shopping and i was like eh, i need a pair of heels to see if the flares work and then i was just like hooked on them i love them and then i also have a white version of this top but i need to put this in the wash i'm actually about to do a kind of light wash hand wash i got makeup on this one i was trying it on <laughs> uh so i was like well i'm gonna have to buy you now because i need to take you home and wash you but yeah i'm gonna wash this this is definitely going to be included in next week's outfits so excited i've actually got some evening events on next week as well so i need to kind of build something for those and i might go with the flares we'll see okay. got my things so next step i guess actually i kind of briefly touched on this but also forgot about it is i in addition to dumping all of this stuff on my floor like so is to check my calendar see what i've got on for the next week and just make sure i'm prioritizing my time wisely and not like building super casual outfits when actually i've got like a week of meetings or vice versa so i know on wednesday uh for example that i have an evening thing it's not going to be super super dressy um but i still want to look nice so i've got that the next day i'm in london so i want to be a little bit more not like dressed up but not in kind of like loungewear i live in brighton and it's very very casual here and i get away with wearing a lot of loungewear out of the house but that will probably not be the case on thursday the next day after i'm in london and if i have meetings no have drop-ins on the wednesday as well so i want to look a little bit smarter in the day and i want to look a little bit smarter the next day and then have a nice evening e dinner outfit so there's three outfits that i know are going to need to be you know nice nice jeans and a top not this because this is casual i might wear this actually on the thursday though because this is like a nice easy everyday outfit and it packs really really well so i'm probably going to be taking a suitcase of some kind probably a really small one up with me so it's good to think about uh, an outfit for that that won't increase okay so monday tuesday those can be casual outfits wednesday thursday are more dressy three outfits that are more dressy and then friday is valentine's day so i'm probably going to be home during the day and then i don't really think we're doing much for the evening so basically three very cash outfits for next week but that um are still kind of presentable because you know i do leave the house and then three london outfits we're gonna call them london outfits and then the weekend i kind of leave open because most of the time i'm in my pajamas okay so things that are coming off number one this this is left over from a styling video so that can go back where it belongs that i'm gonna leave on there because i would like the chance to just wear that a little bit more this is a new zara shirt which will work really really nicely next week so i'm gonna keep that on there i have a few coats and i feel like i need to sort this this one i wore to death in the last 
what I wore in a week, which you will have seen already. So I'm gonna just say goodbye to that one. I feel like the weather is starting to get more mild, so I'm gonna start to like keep my teddy bear coats in the wardrobe. I probably will still need them at various points, but I know in like a month's time, they'll probably be retired to my storage unit. So yeah, I'm not too worried about those. For anyone that's wondering, um, I have a storage unit for uh, clothing, which sounds really weird, but this flat obviously doesn't have a lot, so it comes with storage units instead. So that's where those will be going soon, but not quite yet. However, I am starting to look at denim jackets and stuff like that and starting to think about pulling those out a little bit more again. So blazers, denim jackets, just like a lighter jacket option. I know we still have a month of like bitter coldness probably to get through, but thinking forward to the seasons ahead and I just am so over winter dressing now, like so, so over it. I'm gonna leave my All Saints coat on here because it's always a nice smart option especially if I'm just wearing like an outfit like I'm wearing today it's a really great basic to pair it with I'm also going to leave my in the style trench on there because there's an account I follow and um I literally saw her wearing like a trench and cute like chunky boots and lace I think she might have been wearing the lace Gucci tights <laughs> I forgot what the word was I was about to say trainers I'll pop a picture or a screen grab or something of it here but I have multiple screenshots of that kind of look but she's my favorite I love her Instagram so much so I'm gonna recreate that kind of outfit for the next week and I'm really really excited to um I also have where is it I've picked up two two skirts so this one I just want to get a chance to wear like I might wear this maybe on Wednesday with the white shirt I just really really love this outfit and want to wear it more I then have this one which I actually wore last week and last week's what I wore in a week as well almost gave this away like I put it in a pile my friend Brooke is going to be taking over my depot and organizing all of my clothes on there for me so that's going to be coming up kind of in the next month or so I almost put this in the pile for depop and then realized that I can't give it up and actually it's a really great basic in my wardrobe so yeah I'm looking forward to wearing that more this week as well I think this will work really well with this trench coat and then the Gucci tights and some chunky boots got those two which I will probably hang and then I'll throw my jeans over their actual hangers also have my tights which I will just tuck into the skirt not putting them anywhere near those clips in case uh, anything happens to them also I feel like this is probably going to be like the most scattered plan in my outfits video you'll ever see I feel like there are other girls on YouTube that would do this much more methodically but that is just not how my brain works in any way I'm not a Virgo I feel like if the Anna edit was doing this you'd have like this beautiful comprehensive guide to building an outfit I can't I don't work like that I'm so sorry anyway <laughs> just uh, highlighting how scatty my brain is so we have the jeans like I said, I'm just gonna throw them over here. In terms of presentation, lots of you will know this if you've seen like my wardrobe videos when my friend Carla comes in and organizes my wardrobe. What she taught me to do is always kind of have your jeans almost like roughly even like that. And then also have the straight seams facing outwards rather than this bunchy bit, the back part. So we always have this facing the front of the rail just so it looks really really nice and neat just like that i really like having my rail look nice and neat as well as like having well-built outfits on it i find it just makes me feel like so much mentally clearer when i look at it next we have my topshop cardigan i pulled this when i was tidying up my bedroom i can't wait to wear this with a pair of leather trousers as per the anine bing uh image that i think i will have showed you earlier i think this will be so so cute with leather trousers i'm gonna pop that here white shirt i'm gonna pop next to the white skirt i actually think i probably won't wear that one with that skirt because that one's quite long but i'll swap that out for my other one then we have my structured shoulder white t-shirt this is from in the style so it's got little bits of padding in the shoulder so as i was talking about earlier with the structured kind of shoulder no sleeve like best top type thing um tucked into leather trousers i think that will look really cute i actually need to go get a pair of leather trousers because i thought there were a pair on here so basically what i like to do is have the tops that will go with a certain bottom and then the bottom and then tops that will go with another bottom and then that bottom and that kind of thing so it just carries on kind of nicely like that it's just the quickest way for me to know what to wear in the morning rather than having a braille that's really like scattered okay so looking at this i need a black body that can go with 
the coated flared trousers and the leather skirt it would also go really nicely with the mom jeans as well so i think it's a really good addition i wouldn't always hang a body i might just fold them and put them down the bottom of the rail but it's just really quick and really easy to access and i also need a pair of leather trousers so i'm gonna go get those now okay so i have my body which i'll pop down here and then i also have a baggier fit of leather trouser and a skinny fit i picked both because i'm indecisive af and i just feel like if i'm in a bit of a like stress trying to get ready quickly it saves me going and backwards and forwards to my wardrobe and this is also one of the reasons why i keep my wardrobe quite obsessively neat and tidy so that when i'm building outfits on this rail i know where absolutely everything is so it's really really easy for me to be like oh i need that i know exactly where that is so yeah that's why i'm quite like meticulous with my wardrobe and you guys will probably see so many videos where i organize it because i just need to know where everything is it's super super important to me and obviously these are just a few outfits and i will kind of change my mind throughout the week or i might see a new source of inspiration and be like oh i really want to build an outfit around that but it's just nice to know that i've got a few really easy go-to pieces and especially if i'm packing for staying in london overnight i can just be like you know you know so so far i have one two three four five basically i've got a whole week's worth of outfits on this rail i can tell because the black body will go with these trousers these trousers this skirt probably not that skirt because i wouldn't wear a black skirt with a white I wouldn't wear a black top with a white skirt but the black body will go with at least four of the items on this rail which means i have a base of four outfits five six seven if you want a pair of shirt with a leather trouser there are so many outfits on this rail using one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces i'm not even including these the body being 10 i have so many outfits on this rail just with 10 pieces so super super easy i feel like i'm done and i could literally just work from this rail for the next week now i probably as the next few days go on will probably add to this find new sources of inspiration i'll probably still do that for another like 20 minutes now but that is a basic like how i build outfits style situation and there's i know there's at least two of the outfits that i will have talked about when i sat down earlier that are on this rail but yeah i might even do a little cutaway for you now of how those three look on and kind of compare to the instagram photos i feel like that could be quite fun so let's do that but yeah that is my rail ish for next week so you've kind of got a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming up in what i wore in a week videos but let's face it i change my mind all the time and there will probably be a lot of additions to this and a lot of loungewear as well because that's my kind of thing but this is going to be the base for a lot of the stuff that i'm wearing next week and i'm really happy with it so yeah it makes me feel very fresh and organized i love having a few hours like this where i just kind of really methodically clear everything put everything where it's meant to be and then sort through and kind of plan for the next week it just makes me feel really motivated and very clear on what i'm doing and then i can kind of focus on other things because i'm not worrying about this and what i'm going to wear or what i'm wearing tomorrow or anything it's just all sorted and i feel like it's a really good system to have in place i really love the cardigan and leather trousers combo these i haven't worn in quite a while so i'm really adamant that i need to dig them out which is why i loved the Anim bing inspiration so much because i was like yes this is my chance this is a way that i can get a little bit more wear out of these because they're a fab pair of trousers and they're the one pair of leather trousers that i would say i don't wear enough so yeah i really wanted to get more wear out of these i've just paired them with this little pair of shoes just because i wanted something to throw on but trainers would be great a pair of boots that are quite um tight to the ankle could also be really good as well and then for accessories I will probably go with my Dior sunglasses just so we can go like full like anything vibes and then I've been loving this little bag lately so I'll probably wear this crossbody I think it would just look so cute I love this mixed with leather I just think it's the most beautiful color combo and I really like the light gold um tone mixed with the camel top i think these go beautifully together so this is the base of the next outfit this was originally meant to be a pair of like cargo trousers or that kind of thing these leather trousers actually have the same shape as the photo that i was originally looking at and then i saw a photo from leone which i really loved her outfit so i decided to kind of blend the two together and rather than using the shirt that she had on i thought i'd use the shirt from this outfit given the trousers were like the same shape use the trousers because her trousers were a similar shape and then go with like a trench coat vibe and then a really cool shoe um, and i think this is going to be 
a really great kind of London outfit potentially. But with a pair of trainers, this could easily be something very, very casual for Brighton as well, depending on how I'm feeling. So yeah, I really like this. And then I've got a few accessories that I'm gonna show you that I would pair it with. So I've thrown the trench coat on that I have from In The Style. I love this trench coat so much. I've also thrown on this Borg teddy bear material um, bag, which I just think adds a really nice bit of texture. We've got some leather, we've got some teddy fluff. I just really like the mixture of all of that. And then it ties in nicely with the white t-shirt because again, it is a very light tone. I don't think it's quite white, it's slightly off. So are the shoes as well. So I think it pairs really, really well. And then I probably throw on these shades which are a little bit kind of like old school vibes they're a little bit see-through i love them as a winter spring kind of shade because they're not super super blacked out you don't really need super dark sunglasses during the winter time um but it's just a little bit of an old school vibe i really like the way it mixes with the trench and then some very modern textures and shapes this is the trench coat and gucci tights vibe i love I love so much it's so cute so i've just tied this up at the waist i feel like i just like the way that looks and then you have the tights poking through i've got my chunky boot which i really like actually i like the leather skirt and the leather boots with a little bit of kind of a print in between and then the top is just very very simple so it's the black zara body and i just feel nice in this outfit when i take the coat off i feel great when i put the coat on like it's a really lovely outfit one of those ones where it's not about the coat and it's not about the top or anything like that so it all just works kind of as one but also separately and i really love it but yeah hope you enjoyed me recreating some instagram outfits and planning out my outfits i'm gonna eat my lunch and go to the gym um a fresh bag from the gym an actual sweaty mess i have food and i'm about to have dinner and just do some bloggy bits and then go to bed because i am so tired so I might see you in the morning. I might have vlogged so much today that I might not see you in the morning. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so this might be it from me. This might not. Who knows? But just in case, love you, bye.